Welcome to this video spotlight at the Lakshman Kadirgama Institute of International Relations and Strategic Studies in Sri Lanka on the topic of the Millennium Challenge Corporation Sri Lanka Compact. In April 2019, the Millennium Challenge Corporation, a US government aid agency, approved a large grant of $480 million for Sri Lanka. This was to cover a transport project and a land project. However, as of October 2019, the government of Sri Lanka has not yet approved this grant. To discuss recent developments and the way forward, we have with us today Ms. Jenna Edelman, the country director of the MCC in Sri Lanka, who has been here since September. Welcome to LKI, Jenna. Thank you very much, Dr. Vignaraja, and thanks to LKI for hosting me this afternoon. What is the state of play in the Sri Lanka MCC Compact? Well, if you're asking what's at stake, uh, then I would say that Sri Lanka has grown tremendously over the past 20 years, uh, particularly since the end of the Civil War. Uh, much of this growth, however, has been driven by public investment and public borrowing, uh, which is contributing to a growing debt portfolio. So I think what's at stake is $480 million in grant funding that the Sri Lankan government and the Sri Lankan people do not have to repay for a number of different investments proposed by Sri Lanka to stimulate growth. And those investments are to improve transportation infrastructure and land administration. Now that Sri Lanka has become an upper middle income country, it graduated in July, grant funding will become scarcer and scarcer. So this could be one of the last opportunities that Sri Lanka has to benefit from such a large grant. What then are the tangible benefits for Sri Lanka from approving this grant? Uh, I think there are a lot of benefits. Uh, according to Moratu University, the economic cost of traffic congestion will hit 1.8 trillion rupees per year by next year. Uh, that's a huge number. I'm not even sure what it means, uh, but it sounds like a lot of money. So one of the key benefits is reduced congestion and reduced travel times in the Colombo metropolitan area. Uh, it will also help bring down the cost to transport goods, which will keep uh, Colombo and keep Sri Lanka competitive as a transportation and logistics hub. Uh, another key benefit is a bus service modernization activity, which will make bus transport, public transportation, safer, comfortable, and more reliable, especially for women. We hope it will contribute to greater women's participation in the labor force. Uh, switching to the land administration project, uh, investors regularly cite the current registration process for land as a key impediment to investment here in Sri Lanka. So the whole objective of the land administration project is to make the land sector more transparent and to increase the use of land as an economic asset to stimulate investment here. The transport sector in Sri Lanka is a crowded field with the World Bank, the Asian Development Bank and many others. So is there a donor coordination issue we should be worried about? Uh, it's a crowded field, but I would argue that there's a lot that needs to be done to improve uh, urban transportation and public transportation here in Colombo. Uh, I don't think there's a problem just yet. There are also a number of different government entities involved. Uh, MCC, for example, is working with the Road Development Authority, the Ministry of Megapolis, the Colombo Municipal Council, the police. Uh, so it's really important that the government has a master strategic plan in place to make sure that uh, MCC's investments in transportation and that of all other donors are not only successful, but complementary. Another point is that we have elections that are upcoming in Sri Lanka in November. Is there a potential governance risk that may make this grant ineligible or be suspended for Sri Lanka in the future? I don't envisage any such scenario. Uh, the Sri Lankan people will elect their next president and so long as those elections are free and fair and held in a transparent manner, MCC2 will support uh, the incoming president. Uh, good governance is a key part of our model, but we don't have any reason to believe that uh, elections will go south. What is the way forward for the MCC Sri Lanka Compact, given that Sri Lanka is now an upper middle income country? Uh, that's a very good question. This is a bit of a unique situation for us. MCC historically partners only with low and lower middle income countries and Sri Lanka, as you just noted, recently graduated. Uh, our board will be meeting later this year to look at eligible partner countries. Uh, there's no guarantee that the funding will still be available. So we have a narrowing window during which uh, the Sri Lankan people and, and the government can accept this grant. Thank you, Jenna, and thank you for being with us at LKI. Thank you very much. I appreciate this opportunity.